Welcome back gang, it's Delta from DeltiusGaming.com and in this short video I'm going to show you how to add more damage to Wrecking Blow with a simple trick that my friend Gillian taught me. And it starts with weaving in light and heavy attacks in between your Wrecking Blow. Let me explain. We're going to answer the age old question, should you light or heavy attack in between a Wrecking Blow? What produced more damage? In case you don't know what Wrecking Blow is, it's centered on my Brutal Butcher build and it gives you empower. So it's a one second cast, gives you empower for your next attack, 20%. So the question is, should you do a wrecking blow again with that 20% or should you light attack in between? It turns out light attacking or heavy attacking in between actually produces more damage. Let me show you a test example. We do a simple test here in the non-vet Wayra sewers where there's little gator boss that gill tanks. This very first test is just me simply doing 10 swings, not doing light attacks and or heavy attacks in between to see how much damage we get. It took 15 seconds, I did around 3,800 DPS. Well, this is the non-stam build right now, so it's just, just for the show. Now, this is where I do a lighter and heavy attack in between, and it produces about 3,900 over 18 seconds, with a lot lower crit, in fact, 30%. So, to answer the, the age-old question, it is actually better in PvE terms to do the heavy attacks in between. So you can see here, here's the DPS results. The heavy attacks do a lot of damage, surprisingly, especially if you pump up the champion points. Now I was playing on the magic build VR16 Dragonite, but I wasn't using the Earth and Heart passives. I wasn't buffed, just a simple test. And this is the results. So that's not all I learned from Gilly MacMillie. Apparently I was weaving improperly. Yes, he does a specific weave that produces better results, more damage, more stamina, more sustain. So I'm going to let you listen in to kind of uh, us hanging out in theory crafting and team speak and show him teaching me how to do it and then what I learned. I have to let it ride out the animation. Like I could have just held block and both go off because I let go right at the second that I reached the top and then boom, it's considered heavy attack. Same here, boom, let go. And then, so you hold it for like 50% of the heavy attack, and then you do an ability, and then the ability will override your heavy attack into your ability, like normal weaving would, but your heavy attack will go off. And the way to see this really easily, to explain to your viewers, is you'll see the green bubbles come off of you that you're getting stamina back. That's the way to know if you're doing it right. Okay, let's try it. So when I do a fully, a fully charged heavy, let me block cancel where I think it's the top. That. Try again. That. No, that's too early. Right, yeah, a little bit sooner. Okay. Let's try it. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. There you go. Now you're doing it. Yeah, there it is. See, I can That's see that you're doing it. way more damage. Because the heavy, yeah, you see the stamina return. And the green bubbles. Okay, the best way to explain it that I can to teach you guys is essentially all you're doing is holding down your left mouse or your trigger if you're on consoles and waiting till it gets to the peak right at the top of the wrecking blower when you hold it back right at the top there that's going to register it as a heavy attack as soon as it hits that point all you do is hit your wrecking blow button while you continue to hold your mouse or your trigger so essentially all you're doing is just holding that down and clicking four as it reaches the peak so let me try this and see if i can't reproduce this i'm gonna eat my food here so these trolls don't kill me okay so you got a guy here, we're going to buff up just like we normally would crit rush in type thing. Or you can hold it here and then four. See? Four. I missed it there. See? Four. I'm about to die. Come back. Okay. Hold it down. Peek at the thing. I missed it there. Missed it. That's it. So you hold it. Top. Four. 
That's how you do it and add a lot of DPS. Now, I will be practicing this quite a bit because it's something I don't know inherently because usually what I was doing, just holding it down a little bit and releasing. But this is just a lot simpler. It's easier. It does more damage and you get stamina back. So thank you, Gil, for sharing this tip. He's the best night blade DPS that I know of theory crafter wise. I'm going to leave his at name in PC. If you guys want to reach out to him, he will also be publishing a night blade build for PVE. If you guys are interested in that, I will probably share that on my website. Thanks so much for watching. I learned this. I was geeking out about it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Hopefully this helps you. Continue directing blow spam. The haters are going to hate the wrecking blows. Keep on bringing it.